boy. We're talking about the interval of convergence. Yeah. So, what are we going to do? We are going to take this series because that's where we're at. Take this serious. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, we're looking for the interval of convergence. We're talking about where our polynomial approximation is going to be good. All right. So, the first thing you're going to do is the ratio or the root test, whichever one fits your situation best, and set it equal to zero. Why? Well, if you come with me, then we can discuss the ratio test. Yeah, you've been here before. That's probably why you're here now. We're going to look at the limit as n goes to infinity of the further divided by the where you're at, or where you're at divided by where you're from, and we're going to set that equal to zero, because we know that the series is going to converge in that interval because it's all like geometric. All right. <clears throat> when I say like geometric, if you watch that video, you'll see what I mean. Or if our situation fits that, we are going to be using the root test. When do you use that? When you have like exponents, variable exponents. All right. So, the root test, the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value, absolutely convergent. And then you got to test the endpoints, which is coming. Okay. And if that's smaller than zero, that's when you know. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to do the ratio or the root test, and you're going to set it less than one. That's going to get you an absolute value inequality, or an absolute value inequality, or... I said that twice. So, it's the ratio root test smaller than one. Then, once you solve that, you're talking like Algebra 3. It could have been Algebra 2, depending on where you took your algebra. Once you get that, test the endpoints. You're going to test the endpoints because we were just talking about absolute convergence and conditional convergence. And I know it was just kind of like just out there, but now we need to check on the fringe. Yeah, we need to check the endpoints and whether or not they're going to converge. So that's what you're doing. You're doing that to see what kind of interval you have. An open interval, a closed interval, or a clopen interval. I know. I didn't make that word up. It's an actual thing. And then you're going to state your answer in interval notation. Oh, boy. What's in the private collection? Well, the playlist collection. The um, stuff that is at the end of this video. What's the best thing to do? You're here because you're watching the interval of convergence. After this, there is um, a probably... Well, I'm looking at five videos that are about three minutes long after this. Fifteen minutes, all those examples. Get it done. Play it in order. Okay, so what? On this one, are you going to use the ratio or root test? You're probably going to use the root test because of that. And then what? Absolute value of 2x is smaller than 1. What happens after that? Divide it by 2 and you have your interval. Test your endpoints. See whether or not they converge or diverge. This one. Huh. K, 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 K. That's an x. All right, so you're trying to find the x values that is going to make this series converge. Why? It doesn't have the limits on it. Because it doesn't really matter. We're looking at the tail. All right, so I have this. I'm probably going to use the root test so that I can get rid of all of those k's. And then when I do that, I run the limit. That's going to go to 1, and you're going to have the absolute value of x minus 1 is smaller than 1. That's an absolute value equality. Ooh, now we're looking for some equality down here. Ooh, so I'm looking at that, and I see the factorial. So that is screaming the root test. Now, you have you got here because you have seen quite a few before this. <clears throat> this one is screaming the root test. You use the root test. That's going to give you your boundings. Once you get your boundings, you want to check the two endpoints because it's going to give you an interval where this is true. Oh, this one might even be special. So yeah, all right. Now, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Yeah, that's alternating. Does it matter? No, because we're going to use the ratio or root test. And the ones that we're using, they have the absolute value. It's checking for absolute convergence. That's one of the things you're going to do with the endpoints. But in the interval, then it's going to be OK, because when we're just checking less than it could be. All right. So I see all of those k's. We can use the root test here or we can use the ratio test here. Either would be appropriate, either is going to work, and they're both going to get the same interval of convergence. 
All right, this one down here, what do we want? We want ratio of root test, test the endpoints, and then interval notation. Now, when I say test the endpoints, we're gonna be talking about the endpoints. You plug those back into the original series and you see whether or not it's a convergent or divergent series. If it converges, then you're gonna include the endpoint with the square bracket. If it diverges, then you're gonna not include it with a round bracket. Are we talking about that here? No. Now we're talking about the interval of convergence. There's plenty on that. I think there's at least a dozen. Once you get your endpoints, whether or not they are square or they are round, that's when you are going to state your answer in interval notation. Lastly, this one, hmm, huh, huh, probably gonna use the ratio test, why not? Bam, less than zero, solve the absolute value inequality. The stuff in that interval is gonna be all good. Then you have to test the inner, the end points to see whether or not they're good so that you can see whether or not you have a closed interval, an open interval, or a clopen interval. That is the interval test this is the nutshell. Go to the playlist and these seven examples, can you count five? Yeah, these five examples are in there.